How many times have we all screened a phone call from a number we didn't recognize, just blowing it off as a telemarketer? Well, for one of the Falcons' newest scouting coordinators, when she saw a 404 number pop up on her screen, she thought the same thing. But when Shelly Harvey called that number back, it was a call that changed her life. And I was like, well, who is this? And he was like, oh, this is Thomas Dimitrov, the GM for the Falcons. And I was like, oh, now I can look back on it. I was like, if I wouldn't have called that number back, like, I would not be here right now. Sam Rappaport, the NFL Senior Director of Football Development, referred Harvey after they met at the Women's Career in Football Forum at the NFL Combine back in February. Harvey also met Kiana O oh at that summit, the other new scouting coordinator the Falcons hired this month, and now they're roommates starting their new jobs remotely during the pandemic. I hope other teams can, you know, look at the Falcons as kind of a blueprint to say, like, it doesn't matter about gender because a lot of people will say that, you know, football is a male dominated industry, but I said it actually in my interview, but it's male prevalent. There's women out there that love football too. And Harvey has always loved football. She says she started considering a career in football during her junior year at LSU. She was a three time first team All American sprinter and anchored LSU's 4x100 meter relay team that won the 2016 national title. LSU in the middle of the track. That is Rochelle Harvey. But on game days in Death Valley, she would lament why the football team had it run a certain play. And my friends were like, you should just work in football. So after Harvey graduated, she did as a football recruiting intern at LSU and then at Houston, and then most recently as the on-campus recruiting coordinator at Tulane University. Now she's focusing on getting to know the Falcons roster and working in the NFL. Everything has happened so quickly, I would say, but every day I wake up and it's just like I'm basically living my dream out. It's hit me, but it hasn't like truly hit me. I think once I walk through those doors and put the gear on, I think that's when it will be like first day of school. And just like the rest of us, Harvey is looking forward to that first day back. And for the Falcons, that'll be next week at training camp in Atlanta. Kelly Price, Fox Sports.